Hi everyone, welcome to JavaScript 30 days of lead code challenge. Now we are here uh, to address a new problem today regarding 2619. Let's see the problem number 2619 which is array prototype list. What is array prototype last? Last. Uh, let's check it here. Write code that enhances all arrays such that you can call the array.last method on any array and it will return the last element. If there are no elements in the array, it should return minus one. So basically what they are saying it is, we have something called array.prototype which you can implement a new function and you can add it to it. For example, you have in a specific array, you have an array of one, two, three. You have some array of one, two, three. In this array, you can write it some kind of splice. Okay, you, you can write it some kind of push. You can write it some kind of pop, but what if you want to write it on your own? Like for example, on this, I want to write it something like XYZ method. Can I able to do that? Yes. You can take the array dot prototype and you can extend with a new method. And that is the example which they are explaining it here. They are saying it like in the array, in the prototype, add a method called last. And what is this last method will do? This is the function they gave it by default. Now, first, there are simple. This is a very simple condition. They said it like, if the array contains the last element, it will return the last element. If there are no elements in the array, it should return minus one. Let's check it in the. If there are no other elements, if the array contains, if whatever the array contains, if the array is not having the array, how do you get it? Err or whatever that can be taken by this this is the current calling object imagine if something example like this const there is an array one two three and if that array calls dot last then inside the last arr will be this because arr is the one which is calling the last the current calling object will be considered as this now here if this dot length if the length of the element is zero if it is zero, then I will say return minus one. Okay, one condition is over. Else, else, if it is not zero, then what do you have to return? You have to return. Imagine if length is not zero, then you should check it here. This, if the this dot length is not zero in this particular condition, you have to return this dot. Now here, you can return here this dot length minus one. So I am just returning the last element. I am returning the last element of. I am returning the last element, which is, for example, this is an array. Array is having the length three. So so length three three minus one two which is a last index so i'm just this of two array of two that is the last element so this function which will work it on both the cases when it is zero or when it is not a zero which accepted in place which is having 70 milliseconds so you can understand how the array works and at the same time you can understand how do you extend the functionality using the prototype that's it for today and we'll check it for more programs. You can check it on the lead code. Thank you all.